Hey, welcome back to Herbal Gardens Homestead. Good to see you. Well, today we're going to go see the chickens, maybe talk about how they're doing. And we'll be right back after this. Let's go check out the Australorps. Hey, back again. Haven't seen you guys for a while. We're going to be going and seeing the production reds and the Australorps and see how they're doing. So here they are. You hear them? Hey, guys. Buck, 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 buck. Check this out. Hey. How you guys doing? We're going to have to scrub down that water thing for you guys, ain't we? We're gonna get that tomorrow. Hey, there they are. How we doing, ladies? Yeah, they're having a great time out here. The Australorps are doing really good. They've uh, they've been laying a lot of eggs. They're having a great time in here. We have some new perches for them so that they can sit around and peck and yep. Now look at them go. Yeah, so we're gonna be collecting some eggs today and um Hopefully they got a bunch of them in there because they've been doing real good. I mean, they, they've been, I don't know what's going on, but since I started giving them some little, you know, vegetables here and there, and I've been giving them some of this um, natural woodland grass um, and, and also some of the wild weeds and flowers and stuff like that, um, they've been eating and they've been putting out some of them like two eggs two eggs a day i mean it's it's unbelievable i was so happy because we counted it and i was like did you forget to get the eggs yesterday and she said no and i'm telling you there was like honestly there was like 11 eggs in there in one day just for the australorps another time there was 12 that made it two eggs each and i was really helped I was really happy about that. Yeah, so we're gonna grab the eggs today and let's go in there and take a look, see how it is. We're gonna go in inside and check it out, you know? Oh, here we go. Here we go, and we're going in. I gotta fix this door. Hey! How you guys doing? Yeah, 
also loves they're doing great. She's hiding under there. Hey, you guys. I see y'all hiding. They look beautiful, don't they? That's awesome. I'm telling you what. Well, now we're back out here grabbing some more. And it looks like there might be... How many? Right now, we're waiting for an egg count. Get some good results for you. Okay. Two over there. So how many how many how many eggs did we get? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh man. Ten. Eleven. Awesome. And twelve. So we got twelve eggs for the day. Isn't that awesome? It's great. Look at this. Well, look, there it is. We got twelve eggs for today. Isn't that awesome? You all did a great job. Really appreciate you. Isn't that awesome? Great job. Well, they've been really, you know, loving some of the, the food that we've been giving them. They've been, I mean, it, it's been amazing how they're actually popping out so much. So many eggs. I'm like, I'm like, you ski, you. I'm like, I can't believe it sometimes. So, <clears throat> it's really great. Well, we just wanted to share some of that with you. And, um. I want to go, let's go take a look at the production reds, see how they're doing. Open, open. Well, we're going to go, we're going to go check out the production reds. Hey. Here we are. Right now, we're in with, see, she's a production red. She's a production red. She's a production red. Um, Cornish Cross, Freedom Ranger, Freedom Ranger Color Yield. Uh, Freedom Ranger right here. Um, but, they're loving it in here. You can see the pipe that I made for them to eat out of. Okay, let's go. We're walking in, walking around here, having a good old time. How you doing? <laughs> doing the production reds are really awesome and they're good egg layers also all of these are egg layers except for the freedom ranger color yields those are the meat birds that we have left and i just get in she she's a meat bird she looks big She's about time. I think I'm going to process her. We just haven't been in a hurry because we had some meat in the freezer. And I thought you all wanted to want to see them. But these are our other girls. And 
They love their house. This is their house. We come out here all the time and put them, we lock them away at night to keep them safe. Because this, this big old thing's their whole house here. They have a lot of room. Well, they enjoy it in here. Hey, hey, don't do it. She waddles like a duck. She's getting so big. Yeah, they're getting real big. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? You coming over to say hello? Huh? Coming to say hello? Well, that was uh, our other chickens and their personal chicken run there also. We have two large chicken runs and now we have a couple chicken tractors and stuff. Um, well, just to let you all know, I decided that we are going to be selling our breeding pair of brown pit bantams, Angel and Buddy. Um, they're probably about almost a year. They're almost a year old. They're laying eggs already. Angel's laying eggs already. Um, the eggs taste good. They're small, you know, because, like I said, they're they're the miniature brown pit bantams. They, but um, one day, I mean, if you if you go back in some of the videos that we have, you'll see you'll see them. Um, they they have really beautiful colors, and uh, Buddy, he's amazing. But I will tell you this: he's protective, so. You know, he's a little miniature rooster with attitude. Um, but they're, they're, they're really nice. Uh, we just, you know, honestly, I sell the eggs from the, the larger chickens. I tried to sell some of the, the eggs from them. And honestly, you know, people wanted the bigger eggs. So we started just eating, eating those eggs. And, uh, you know... You want a good size omelet, probably have to use probably about three of those eggs. But one of these days, if we go to like a home, uh, you know, a homesteading festival or something, you know, if you see us, ask me about them. They might be available still. But thank you for joining us right here at Herbal Gardens Homestead. My name is Leo. And remember, love your land and it'll love you back. Okay, take care. See you next time.